Um, this festival is completely non-commercial, as you know. Uh, every summer, five crazy people, who I'll mention in a minute, spend their entire summer losing their summer, looking at about 2,000 submissions and picking this year uh, 27 main slate films. So that's been pretty much the same for a long time at the New York Festival, uh, Film Festival, very selective. But it's not everything is the same. As you know, we opened our wonderful Eleanor Bunin Moreau Film Center, and this is the first time we've gotten a chance to use it. So first I want to say thank you for, for being here, and it's an experiment for us as well as you. New ticketing system, new theaters, we've tried many new things, so we want your feedback, and so when this is all over for our loyal patrons and visitors, please give us your feedback. But it's been a fun adventure for us. Um, but we've expanded pretty dramatically. The attendance is up a lot, um, a lot more energy and activity. And uh, last year, for example, we had about 60 feature films. This year we had 107 feature films. Um, we also had um, a masterwork series as usual, but a bigger one. Um, our HBO Director's Dialogues, which is wonderful this year, the Avant-Garde series, and many, many free events across at the Film Center. I hope that you attended. If not, please attend next year, which will be our 50th. So if you think this was fun, wait till next year. Um, but it's all new, and we've tried many, many things. We've had some incredible highlights, some personal ones for me, which I can't help mention. Um, Gold Rush, Charlie Chaplin's 1925 uh, film, his favorite film, accompanied by 15-piece uh, orchestra from the Philharmonic. Um, when the Memphis Three came out after Paradise Lost and surprised everyone, and there were a thousand uh, non-dry eyes in the house. Our, our sneak of, of Hugo, when we really kept it pretty secret and had a lot of fun. Um, anyway, and, and, and obviously so many wonderful films from all over the world, as usual. So it was a great festival. Um, and it's impossible to do without uh, a lot of people uh, giving a lot of time and money and energy, and I want to thank a few of them, so please join me. First of all, our wonderful sponsors, they're listed here behind me, um, RBC 42 Below, American Airlines, The New York Times, Stella Artois, HBO Films, which uh, is both a donor and, and, and sponsors of our director's dialogues. Illy Cafe, which has been a godsend for our, our zombie um, em employees and staff who have just ho hooked up out there. Um, and the National Endowment for the Arts and the New York State Council on the Arts. So please, please join me in thanking them. Next, I would like to thank our tireless board. Um, again, we, we embarked on an expansion, and in our collective infinite wisdom, had to raise all the money in the middle of the biggest financial crisis we've all seen. So we have a loyal and hardworking board, and sometimes I wonder if they have day jobs. Many of them are in the, in the theater tonight. I would love to single you all out if I could and had time, but I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank um, our, chair, our chair, Ann Tenenbaum, who couldn't be here tonight, but is tireless as our leader. And uh, so thank you to the board. And a quick uh, thank you, as you can imagine, um, building a film center that we built across the street out of what was garage space, pipes, offices, and was very complex logistically. We needed a lot of help. And Ren Levy, who, the head of Lincoln Center, and Catherine Farley, the head of the board, has been a great partners to us, so I want to thank them. Um, next, to um, our patrons and members and the audience, again, we couldn't do what we're doing without you. We're really grateful. Many of you, again, are here tonight, and we hope you've had a wonderful festival as I have. I've loved it. By the way, I've been here 17 nights in a row, first time this year, so it's hard for me. I don't know if I'm going to keep my day job. Um, I also want to thank the New Wave. New Wave is our Young Patrons Society. They've been very, very active, and I want to thank Ellie Tenenbaum and the, all of the New Wave members for being so wonderful. Um, a couple more. Uh, this year, we really is the first festival of our new executive director, who was technically here last year, but got here in, in a time that uh, didn't really affect the outcome much. So I want to say a huge thank you to our staff. If you think we have a, uh, you see zombies out there, that's actually our staff after 17 days. We have this year from 50, usually we had 50 volunteers, this year we have 250 volunteers. So there are lots of people um, spent their time helping, but I really especially want to thank Rose Quo. Rose? She has no doubt. She whispered, okay, I'm going to kill you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and a quick thank to the thanks to the 20 by 24. We have a great Polaroid 25 by 24 camera across the street where we've started an art project of our own of capturing the, the great filmmakers of our era on this amazing device. And I want to thank that team that's that's um, been working there tirelessly. A couple more, um, you know, directors. This is a directors and filmmakers festival, really. And uh, they've always been part of our family, but this year they've really somehow been much more part of our family. So I don't know where you're sitting, but you might look to your left or to your right, and you may see one of the wonderful, world-renowned directors that has a film in this festival, and they're sitting in the audience with you. They've joined us. They've they've uh, had talks. They've joined us for virtually everything. So they've been here and really been an active part of the festival this year. And I just want to thank them. Um, a couple quick thanks. Last thanks. Thank you to all the filmmakers. Uh, last, a quick thank to Scott Foundas, the selection committee, again, who didn't have a summer, as usual. Scott Foundas, Melissa Anderson, Dennis Lim, Todd McCarthy, and our own Richard Pena, who I want to say something about in a minute. Uh, before I do, I just want to say one last thank you to all of our audience, members, non-members, everyone that's that support us. It's been a great year, and thank you. Um, so finally, as you know, for the past 24 years, Richard Pena has served as our, the chairman of our selection committee and uh, overall program director of the Film Society. Um, Richard has informed us after a lot of discussion that at the end of next year, after the festival's 50th anniversary next year and his 25th anniversary, he will step down from both posts. Um, Richard's been with the Film Society 24 years. As he said to me, I can't, I love this, but I can't, I, I wonder what it's like to have a summer. I haven't had a summer in 25 years. So he will get a summer, but not until we, we probably work him pretty hard for what we have planned for the 50th. Um, he's been with us through discovering Pedro, who's in the audience, and many others to an American audience, and has been. And we'll talk a lot over the next year um, on his influence on, on the film culture and film dialogue, and there'll be a lot of time for that. But he was here for the opening of the Walter Reed, as well as the Film Center. Um, we're very pleased that, of course, he's not going to completely leave us because we wouldn't allow that. He's um, going to stay on and create and run a new educational in initiative at the Film Society, and as you know, he's a professor at Columbia, so that should be pretty exciting. So I, without further ado, enjoy this film, you will love it, and I want to introduce the uh, head of the Film Society's program, and, uh, all of their program, and the chairman of the selection committee, Richard Pena. Have a good night. Thanks. Uh, first, some thanks of my own. First, to my family. Uh, second, to my colleagues on the selection committee who've already been named. Great friends and great, great colleagues. And they worked so hard this year to make this festival what it's been. And of course, finally, to all the members of the staff of the Film Society of Lincoln Center for their hard work, not only during the festival, but all year long. So please join me in thanking them. Yesterday at the Walter Reed, I had the pleasure of having a conversation on stage with Alexander Payne. And during that conversation, he offered a, a very generous and um, no heartfelt tribute to another film that's in the festival, uh, Separation. A film that he called, for him, a kind of, yes, give that a round of applause. A film which he called a, a kind of perfect film, by which he went on to explain it's a film that as you watched it, the frame, the lighting, the camera movement, the edit, everything sort of disappeared and suddenly you were just there with the film. You were so involved in it that all the sort of accoutrements of cinema kind of slipped away and you just sort of bonded with the drama that was going on. Uh, that, I think, description really applies very much to Alex's work as well. Uh, one of the things that I love so much about his films is there's an extraordinary simplicity to them, but don't ever get fooled by that. That simplicity comes from an extraordinary clarity, an amazing precision, a fantastic technique, and I think a great, great humanity that he brings to all his films, but I think especially in The Descendants, shines through like never before. We're really delighted and proud to close this edition of the New York Film Festival with The Descendants. Please welcome Alexander Payne. Well, it's always an immense pleasure and an immense honor to be accepted for inclusion in the New York Film Festival. Doubly so when it's opening night or closing night, and I would say exponentially so when it's amid 
such a group of great films. This was a really good festival this year, and because it's a really good year, 2011, for international cinema. So my thanks to you, Richard, and to Rose, and to Dan, and to the selection committee, and the staff and the board for including me once again in this festival. I really appreciate it. And I'm, of course, the, the, the melancholy of this being your last festival and your last film at your last festival is not lost on me. But uh, obviously, we all wish you the best. My thanks also to uh, my studio, Fox and Fox Searchlight, for the opportunity to make this film. I'm very grateful to them. Okay, I have a lot of introductions. People are here uh, who worked on the film and a lot of cast members. So briefly, before I bring out the cast, I want to recognize in the audience my fellow producers, Jim Burke, Jim Taylor, and George Parra. Also with them, uh, co-writers Nat Faxon and Jim Rash. I haven't seen them up there, but uh, production designer Jane Stewart and editor Kevin Tenter in the audience, so very proud of their work. Okay, that's enough. And now the cast. Uh, Shailene Woodley. Young Amara Miller. Nick Krause. Mary Birdsong. Uh, Judy Greer. Patty Hasty, Matthew Lillard, The Robert Forrester. and the Bo Bridges. And, uh, George Clooney. Matt Corboy. <laughs> Anybody want to say anything? Hi. We hope you like the film. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming.